Josh Dobbs is also a quarterback that's on the roster. Uh, Brandon Allen, we've already <laughs> talked about basically how Brock uh, Brock Purdy is um, done a great job with the offense. But Kyle Shanahan has now chosen Brandon Allen in his stead uh, to play against the Green Bay Packers. With Brock sideline, is Brandon Allen the best option to step in with the lead um, and lead the 49ers? Uh, let's assess his readiness, his potential impact, the differences that he could bring to the offense, if any at all, and whether he can keep the team afloat um, in such a crucial stretch. So, look, man, I'm, for, for, uh, full disclosure, I never thought Brock Purdy would be that much. I watched him in training camp. I watched him in training uh, preseason. I was like, Neh. so when I completely write off Brandon Allen right now, keep that in mind. My track record is no better than anyone's. It might be worse, but pff, pff, like, whoa. I mean, if they had Sam Darnold on their team now, they might be able to like weather the storm and continue to win like he's winning with Minnesota. Uh, but true. Brandon Allen, I don't know that they can win with him. And I think what's rough about their situation is I'm not sure that Joshua Dobbs would give them that much better of a chance to win. And I think what we're going to, I think we're going to find out to not to be like totally, I, I, I'm not even surprised, sure that Brandon Allen's going to make it through this game. Like they might have to bench yeah. him halfway through. I, if it doesn't We've work in the first before. couple of quarters, they might have to go a different direction. I mean, who is he? he has no track record. He has two wins in his life, his life. Career. Yeah, Brandon Allen is a career backup. He is the like the antithesis of a backup. Like that is what he does. Um, one thing I'll say is that I just I, I tried to I tried to big him up as far as like what I seen from him in preseason, but none of that crap matters as far as actually playing real NFL games. Um, right now, like you said, I'd be impressed if Brandon Allen got through the game, not hurt. Right, just don't play injured. Not benched on one or the other. Yeah, in the course of almost five years, he's only played eight games. Um, so he's got thirty nine. He's got thirty seven pass attempts in five years, uh, and out of that, he's got he's got less than two hundred passing yards. So this is somebody who, I mean, to even feel as though that they could do anything with Brandon Allen would would kind of be uh, this. Wait, hold on, hold on. No, the, here here is numbers. He's he's been in the league since twenty nineteen. He uh, am I tripping? Brandon Allen? No, he started. Three games from Denver in 2019 went one and two. Quarterback rating was 68. He started four ga five games. Oh, for I'm tripping. Yeah, 16. I got you. So he started. He started yeah. five games for Cincinnati in 2020, and uh, I get, was that after Burrow got hurt. Went one and four with a quarterback rating of 82, and then he started one game for Cincinnati in 2021, and his quarterback rating was 81. <laughs> so he's basically Joe Burrow. We should expect Joe Burrow as production, I think. But game. what does that say about Kyle if we really do see Brandon Allen throwing the ball 20 something times, 20 to 30 times in this game? Here's what I expect, dude. Like irresponsible speculation. Kyle Shanahan is a little reticent, a little not so excited about giving Brock Purdy this huge contract. So what he says is, All right, man, you wanna you wanna be a sixty million dollar a year quarterback? I'm gonna treat you like a sixty million dollar a year quarterback. We're not going to do so many screens. I'm not going to give you a bunch of passes behind the line of scrimmage. We're not going to do play action that much. It's going to be a lot of seven step drops. You know why? Because that's the kind of that's thing a sixty million dollars. That's yeah. the kind of thing. That's that's high degree of difficulty quarterbacking, and that's what we're going to see if you can do. And then he goes out and freaking Brandon Allen comes in, and it's going to be screen, everything. screen behind the line of scrimmage, play action, guys wide open, yards after the catch. Jet it's like screens. Oh everything. man, Kyle can coach again. Whoa, he's got all these ideas and he's creative. That's what I half expect. Just the best, the best game of Kyle's season right here. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I expect as well. I think that Kyle's going to pull out all the bells and whistles because he's got he's playing with house money right now for him to show exactly for him to show exactly what the offense can do. He's going to do it all in this game. He's going to run screens. He's going to use. You know what? I'm calling it. You're going to see a lot of Jordan Mason tomorrow. Hell yeah. You're going to see. A Hell lot of, yeah. You're going to see yeah. a lot of Jordan Mason. You're going to see. You know what? You might see Jordan Mason and Christian McCaffrey on the field at the same time. All of this stuff the stuff that red we've been zone plays are to be see. incredible, incredible no. red zone plays we've never seen before. He's Waiting for just this everything. week to unveil them. Mm -hmm. Oh my because god! Because he knows be he knows that there's there's nothing on the line, and everything that he shows is going to be looked in the favorable light by the fan base of like, "Hey, man, did you see what he did with Brandon Allen? What's the matter with Brandon? Here's what, here's what I want to say though. I, I don't." It'd be fun if this happened. I really don't have a lot of hope for Brandon Allen. He's 32 years old. 
If he had mm -hmm. something, I think he would have shown it by now somewhere else. And I don't think Kyle has his magical ability to make a, a, a bad quarterback good. C.J. Beathard, Nick Mullins. I don't think he can. A Trey, I don't think he can do it. Maybe he can. I don't what think I he can do it see is I want to see Tanner Mordecai. And I will. I, I agree. I don't think this is the week. Don't throw Tanner Mordecai in his first start in Lambo. It's like you need the game. Like wait three weeks. But I want to see four or five starts. With, well, assuming Brock Purdy's out for the whole season, who knows if he is? Probably not. But at some point, I want to see Tanner. I want to see. Tanner. I don't think you. I don't think you'll see Tanner because Tanner would. Tanner would mean that they they're, they're officially done with the season. True. I don't think that's that what we thought that. when they put Purdy in there that one time and it was like, oh, wait, he's the best quarterback on the team. Maybe they had true. to. They had no choice. Well, but to put Brock, they, they may have no Brock, choice maybe. to put Tanner Mordecai in. That's true. You they may have maybe no choice Tanner starts in Buffalo next week. That's not ideal, but he's got a Do big you arm. Think I would get the start over Josh Dobbs. No, I, wow. I can dream, though. I just want to see it. I think deep down, I feel like he gives them the look because again, Dobbs is like 30, 29. There's no upside. They've got stealings. There. We know what they are. I'm sorry. Like they, they've been in the league. We've seen them. There's no upside here. Tanner at least has the uh, potential possibility of having some upside. Maybe. I thought he looked <laughs> good in the preseason. He can move. He He's got a strong good. arm. I, I like him. I was calling everybody Tanner Mordecai. I liked him so much. I, like Tanner Mordecai did look good in the preseason. He's if Brock Purdy can pull it off, why can't Tanner? Man, he's he's got a bunch of experience in college athlete. too. He's an athlete. Why not? Yeah. I don't know. And you say, I'll, why not with Josh this. Dobbs? Because we've seen it. Why not with, with Brandon Allen? Because we've seen it. If we find ourselves cheering for Tanner Mordecai with the way this coaching staff works, we know the season is officially over. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, a lot of people saying the, officially, the season's been over since they lost to Arizona. Didn't you sing on your uh, watch yeah. party? It's yeah. so hard. Oh, I know the window was over. You I, say I goodbye. Did, to the Super Bowl window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dog. Pretty I, much. I, I saw it for a while. Um, and really it's because it wasn't even because of injuries, right? That wasn't that wasn't it. What I saw is Kyle won't use everything that the team can do. He's not, he doesn't like ugly wins. If 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 Kyle, for some way, if they find a process on how to be an effective team this year, I, I believe that Kyle would not take the opportunity to do something where he couldn't take the credit. If he had to put Jordan Mason on the field and Christian McCaffrey and play Jacob Cowing and give him Debo's reps and give somebody who's actually fast the end of rounds and the now routes and the slip screens and like start using George Kittle. When's the last time we seen George Kittle on the tight end screen? Uh, or a middle years ago. screen. But then but then they get to the Super Bowl and Kyle's like, Well, I knew Jake, I knew Jacob Cowan was my best screen guy. I just I had to do it the right way. I had to bench him for like th three months. But I always knew that Tanner Mordecai was the best quarterback on the team. I just it was a it was my secret. And I laughed about it when I would play other people, but deep down I knew. And when Jordan Mason was on the bench, I'm like, Man, I'm just giving these teams a chance because it's so easy coaching in this league. It's so easy for me. It's to understand. Easy. It's boring All how right. easy it is.